Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Outspoken Wheels on Wheels. My name is Joan and this week I'm going to talk about a few things that I've purchased. I think I did one of these a few weeks ago, but I've bought a lot of stuff lately and so I'm going to review a few more of the things um, that I've either purchased recently or have just been using in my van and I want to do a review on. So here we go. This is another thing that I purchased on Amazon. It's a cup holder tray. So it uses the cup holder here on the side of my van, just below the back wing window on the back and the back of my van. Um, this is kind of like my night table. So there's some lights here, my little cane management massager. Um, my glasses and my phone used to go in there and it just used to get so crowded and um, kind of annoying and I didn't like that I gave up my cup holder because I had a cup in there with water in it too so now this has two cup holders I can drape one in there and there's also one there and then it has the table where I can easily keep my keys and my glasses and my phone at night and still have room for other things that I want um, beside my bed at night so that's a win and I got that on Amazon. I think it's called a cup holder tray if you want to um, do a search on Amazon for it. I should add that it's also adjustable. There's a thing to twist here. You can move it up and down. You can move that either way. Um, you can twist this. Whoops. Twist this so that it's not in the way. Sorry, and one more thing is there's these little things that stick out to adjust to the size of your cup holder, so it will fit in any size cup holder, I guess. I purchased one of these while I was, well, actually at Walmart, and I used it while I was in Mexico. It's a little step stool. I wanted it because when I had my shower, um in the van a, a year before when I was down in Arizona, I had to sink myself down into the stow and go area in the back of my van. And it was really difficult for me to get myself back out. It was really squishy in there. So what I did is I bought um, a couple shower curtains and I draped one over the bed and I have my uh, doggy, um, doggy bath, collapsible doggy bath thing. It's like a dog bath, a vinyl dog bath thing that folds up very small, accordion-like. And I open that up, whoops, sorry. I open that up and put it in, in the stow and go area. And then I sink this chair down into there so that I can sit on it. And I have uh, the other shower curtain kind of, um, just folded up the side of the wall, braced up the side of the wall a little bit so that I'm not getting water everywhere. I also had purchased a weed sprayer, but it used water too fast. I, I wasn't using this weed sprayer nozzle. I was using a regular shower nozzle and it used up water too fast. Um, but I did have a really good shower, except for that I ran out of water and had soap all over my body and had to use, I have a little spray bottle um, in that, that I keep in that area as well. And I had to spray all the soap off my body with a shower, with a spray bottle. So, um, I will try this again, but I think, sorry, I'm so shaky. I really should learn to use my tripod. Uh, I think that the way that I'm going to try next is I will just use, I'll have a cup and a bucket of water beside the, um, Place where I'm going to shower and I will just use the cup to pour water over myself. I think that'll work. Anyways, that's that. It's also handy to use as a little table. And it folds up nice and small too for easy storage. I also want to talk about the power in my van. I have two 500 watt Jackery batteries and I have two solar panels um, 
and I have to power my fridge, which is down in the hole down there, the silver with the black on top. Underneath those two bins is my fridge. It's a 55 liter fridge, I think. Has to power my computer and my phone and I have a heating pad, an electric heating pad that I use. So here's one of the things that I've done to make my life easier and that is rather than have my solar panels out and standing up the way they were meant to be stood up, there's little stands on the back of them so that they uh, lean against these stands um, so that you can face them to the sun. What I've tried to do is start parking so that my back end of my van is facing south so that I can just um, reach the solar panels outside. I don't know if you can see, but I have cords coming out to go to each Jackery battery that I have so that I can keep things charged. And that is so easy because I either leave them out all night unless I think it's going to rain and then I'll bring them in. Um, but it's so easy to just pop them out there, let them pop open and just leave them there all day. And I may not get as good a charge as if I was moving them around all day, but it is really hard to move them around all day. And this seems to work today, actually. I'm not parked facing the south. This would be east, almost northeast. But the sun shone on them a bit this morning. I was only getting 5% input on them, but it fully charged the one battery that had only gone down by 10% last night. And the one that is hooked up to my fridge, uh, it been keeping it even so I lost I went down to 64% last night when the fridge was running all night and having this battery this uh, solar panel plugged in even though it's not in the sunniest spot has kept my uh, Jackery at I think last time I looked which was a couple hours ago but it was at 62% so anyways that's something that's working really well and has improved my life so there hasn't been any sun this weekend or not much of it, but I had my two solar panels um, out the back because I brought them in now because it was too wet and I was afraid. I'm not sure if uh, Jackery solar panels was supposed to get wet or not because the connection with the cord is still at the back of them. The other side leans against my van. So I had those out and uh, even with cloud cover, um, the first day I was drawing five watts of power on both of them which isn't much, but uh, every little bit helps. And so I've been here, I got here on Tuesday night around six and I plugged my fridge in. I had my, plug, my fridge plugged into the 12 volt in my car all the way here, so it was cold already. And uh, I've had, so I've had the fridge plugged in all weekend. This was Tuesday night, it is now Thursday night, so two whole days, and I have 25% left on one battery and 75% left on the other. So I'm really pleased about that. Um, it's not been that hot, so the fridge hasn't been working very hard, but if it was hot, that would mean the sun was out and so I would have solar. So I think I could almost run everything that I need to run on these um, on these batteries for three or four days easily, which means I can boondock for three or four days, maybe longer if the um, if the sun is powering my solar pa my solar panels better. But anyways, I just thought that uh, somebody asked me recently how much solar power it takes to run my fridge, and well, there's your answer that plus all that other stuff. So.